praising you by having access to the throne of grace yes, by Lord. the blood of Jesus Christ, your son. Father, we are asking you now to do what you sent Jesus and the Holy Ghost to do. Yes. Send your word. Yes. Bless your word. Yes. You know everything that's here. Yes. And, oh God, in your name, where two or three are assembled together, there you are in the midst. Yes. Prove yourself today. Yes, okay, we know that you're present. Yes. But we're asking you to prove yourself by healing. Yes. Touching lungs, strengthening lungs. Yes. Lord, in your name. Yes. Lord, we know the breath that we breathe is yours. Yes. Right? You breathe into us the breath of life. Yes. And God, we're asking you, whatever it is, we ask you to forgive and restore. Yes. My God, and strengthen to live for you. In the name of Jesus. And all sickness will lose the spirit and the anointing to heal him. Today, hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth is the same today as he was on yesterday and forevermore. God, we agree that you will not let us walk out of this building the same because where you are, everything we need is here. In the name of Jesus, send your word. Save today. Precaution today. Let the Holy Ghost do what you send him to do. We agree that you do it. And we'll ever give you the praise. Do for them what you've done for us. And we'll ever praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God, amen. I read for you here in St. John, the fifth chapter, the 24th and the 25th verse. Very, very, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Very, very, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the, hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word for the edification of our soul. Amen. Amen.